Hey there, cool cats, and welcome to Oxenfree. Alright, this is a game by Night School Studio. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. There's a trailer and screenshots and everything there, so please look this game up. It's amazing. I mean, it looks amazing. I've only played uh, like a few minutes into the game just to check out the settings and make sure everything is running smoothly, so it is a beautiful game and... The characters are all very charming, but they talk a lot, so I don't think I'll be talking that much in this game um, because there's a there's a point and click mechanic where you have to choose your character's dialogue, and if you don't click fast enough, the dialogue disappears. So I would rather, you know, keep the characters talking than have me talk over them. So hope you don't mind that. And fair warning: in the beginning of the trailer, please check out their trailer when you do. In the beginning of the trailer it says that this game may involve some disturbing themes so please bear that in mind if you plan on playing the game yourself or if you plan on sticking with me through this series. Thank you! All I know about this game is that it has some supernatural spookiness involved and there is more than one ending so I hope I get a pretty decent ending. But who knows? Let's get into it. <laughs> It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey! Still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do I can you... watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um, not... Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Aww, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not going to mind that we're spending the night. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so... probably. 
Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Thank you. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Thank you for telling me the controls. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. These guys talk way too much. But I don't want to overstep the dialogue, so... yeah. God, I love my hair. It's so cool. It's such a nice shade of blue. That's like the perfect shade of blue for hair. Hair dye. Unless I'm an enemy Smell character. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but... <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. Come on, Jonas, this is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure, no problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts. Alright. Yeah. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, well, yeah. Ren? <sighs> Why? I don't want to babysit you when you go on a bad trip. You're not gonna have to babysit me. I better I've not. I've been forward to this for a really long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible to get anywhere else on the island. Crazy, right? It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So it's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. What? The town? I like it. I like kitschy stuff. 
It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. But yeah, Maggie Adler, that's it. The only person who lives here. She's never left the island. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Rent, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go? That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> I like it. Does this go anywhere? More closed doors or trees? I don't know, but it's not where we're going. Oh, wait, what about this car? Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Okay, so far I like I like my brother. I like Jonas. Ren is a little annoying. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of the island where you can hear facts about different stuff by tuning to that station. Uh, kind of okay, sure. It's just, uh... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. Its propeller the was the one thing recovered, platform. so... They made it into, like, a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. I hadn't heard of it. Yeah, if you had, you'd have heard of the town. But since you haven't, you hadn't. Oh, hey, this is the Parks and Facilities office. Didn't... didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks, and barely anybody here needs facilities. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Where are you going, Jonas? We're going up. Yeah, beat you to the top! Woo! This game is so pretty. Yeah, I win. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. Must be this thing, of course. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Yeah, there we go. If Jerry could do this solo, that's... Jerry has a lot of strength. See ya! Oh, uh, before we get there, I should... I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's... so... there's this girl. Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, alright? Deal? Ren, relax. 
Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex, Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Uh, it was nothing, really. Yeah, what was it really, Jonas? If you have some deep, dark secret, I'd like to know now before we're officially housemates. I'll just talk to you later, seriously. Okay. I understand. It's okay, we'll have our own me time. I mean, us time. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story, what was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, uh, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. How yeah, do you well, not I understand this that? Happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm no. friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, what? I... What about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend. Who didn't think we could make it? Who lost my invitation? Who had to go Faster. on there? We've been hearing about this for years. And now, we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! That was sarcasm. Well, Clarissa's a bitch, so... Hmm. I can tell who I'm going to stick with after this. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep. Killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. Alright, so I think I'm gonna pause the game there because that's all the time I have for tonight and I don't know where exactly to pause this game. I should have paused it just now when the game was loading. But anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching the first ever episode of uh, Oxenfree and I can't wait to see more of this game. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Here is that